Grab a cup of tea or a glass of wine and tune in for inspired conversations with publisher Linda Joy. On Tuesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern, Linda creates sacred space for leading female luminaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. A soulful venue where guests openly share the fears and obstacles they've overcome, wisdom and lessons learned, and the personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired conversations to empower you on your path to authentic, soulful living. Welcome to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Linda Joy, Mindset Mojo Mentor, Inspirista, and founder of InspiredLivingUniversity.com, a sacred curriculum and community for women. Go check it out at InspiredLivingUniversity.com. Guess what we're talking about today? We're going to be talking about one of my favorite topics, abundance, and activating your unique cash frequency. Listen, we're all here to live fully expressed, and that includes making the money and abundance we really desire while doing the work that we are divinely, you know, ordained to do. It's all part of our soul's journey, my friend. And that's why I am excited to have with me today money coach Gerda Victor, who joins me to share tips on how to activate your unique cash frequency. Gerda is a money coach with 20 years of experience in mind, body, and energy therapy. She helps spiritual entrepreneurs bust through their money blocks and activate their unique cash frequency to create the four- to five-figure months they desire and deserve. Gerda holds a master's in mental health and counseling with specialty in trauma. She uses her mind, body, and counseling expertise to create the most transformative experience for her clients. Welcome, Gerda. Thank you, Linda. I am so excited to be here speaking with you, and this is also my favorite topic. <laughs> so I'm well, you, I've just been loving your posts on social media, and you're part of the family at Inspired Living University, so I've gotten to know you, and um, I, in fact, I recently invited you. You'll be in an upcoming um, issue of Aspire Magazine. So when I saw that you were talking about unique cash frequency, and and I work with my clients a lot about abundance activation, about abundance and mindset and frequency, and I loved your your unique way of looking at it. So why don't we start there? What is the unique, our unique cash frequency? Yes. So this is something that I I discovered. You know, on my journey, right as a healer and, you know, spiritpreneur, like how is it, how do I create abundance in my life? How do I create cash flow in a way that actually works for me, in a way that doesn't feel like I'm selling my soul? (laughs) Yes. And um, I just started to play around, you know, utilizing the tools in my box, and it was like, oh, my God. You know, we do this work. We know everything is energy. We know energy, you know, money. We talk about money as energy, but money is also currency, right? Currency is flow of energy, and we all have a certain currency frequency that we vibrate, that we um, emit out to each other, to, to the universe. And following someone else's step-by-step and comparing yourself or this person, you know, made 10K in their sleep. Like, why can't I do that? (laughs) Exactly. So the unique cash frequency, it's really dropping in to what is your expression? What is your highest expression? The being that you are, the being you came here to be, the energy you came here to express is your unique cash frequency. That energy is actually, I always say your soul's work is your pathway to your highest evolution and abundance. So the more we are aware of this and aligned with this aspect, with this knowing not just in the mind, <laughs> not just in our head. Like, that's a beautiful concept. But really allow it to drop in and 
fully embody it, fully activating it within, this is how we create abundance. And I call that your unique cash frequency because it is very, very, very unique to everyone how we create and generate money, cash flow in our lives. And, and I love this whole take on it because I believe, like, that's why your phrase really captured my attention. So if you noticed in your own personal journey of abundance and flow that your a unique cash frequency has, uh, let's say, transformed over your own personal journey, like, can you see where you used to be and where you are now and say, ah, you know, I'm vibrating at a different level now? And it was one of those things. That, so that's the thing. It's, we all have it. It's, it's, we're not aware that we have it. So we, we think something's missing. We're looking outside of ourselves for what is missing. One, like that was me. Like something is missing. I have this huge block. Why can't I get over this block, right? The block was believing that I was missing something. And... You know, it would be, I would have little glimpses where, like, I would be like, I didn't even do anything, and someone just emailed me and want to work with me, right? Yeah, I, <laughs> oh, I know the feeling, yes. Oh, go somewhere, and someone would come from way back in the room. The minute you walked in, I noticed you, and I, I just knew I had to speak to you, and I'm like, what is this, right? And I kept thinking, oh, I don't know, this, this is random, it's just a fluke, Right? Then I was like, wait a minute, there's something here. There's something here that you're not paying attention to. What would it be like to start noticing that, to start really saying like, okay, even though I don't know what this thing is, I don't know why, you know, out of like, you know, all these people, people are reaching out to me, right, even though there are people within the thing. I've had this happen um, as a movement teacher where – you know, someone went to class with all these different teachers and they were looking for a specific, they were looking for a movement teacher to come do a retreat. And um, this person came to my class and, you know, she's like, oh, your class was amazing, da, 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 da. I mean, she came like an hour away to my class. And she was like, oh, I came from you know, Denver's or something like that. And I was like, oh, I think there's a teacher out by you. You, you should check her out. Because I'm like, that's a troop, right? <laughs> to drive yeah. all in here. And she's like, oh, yeah, I went to her class already. But I want you to do the retreat. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and, and you know what I think it is, Gator, too, as what I'm learning is we have energetic alignment. So she was energetically aligned with you, your energy, your style, everything. It was no reflection of the other person. It's, a re, it's like you were exactly part of her energy imprint for what she desires for her next step. And that's what I love, right? Um, we vibrate. We don't have to worry about lack and competition because if we can align our energy at all times, with our truth, those we are meant to serve in life and in business can find us, but we have to be true and authentic to our own truth or the, the energy going out is muddy and the right ones can't find us. And that's a perfect story of she was energetically aligned with you. No one else would have matched that energy. And that's, I think that's so beautiful. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and you said it, Linda, and that's exactly what the, activating when I work with my clients talk about activating your unique cash frequencies like how can we just make this more alive where this is your your state and when you're living from that place you are in true awareness and knowing that comparison is not a thing missed opportunities is not a thing (laughs) it's just an illusion that we buy into and you get to know like as long as I'm being, you know, to quote Dr. Seuss, right, to be the truest me that I can be, the, you know, the me, the only me that I can be. <laughs> yes. All is good. All is well. Well, like, yeah, we are coded. We are coded to um, 
share experiences with specific people. And once we allow ourselves to be that, the right people, the right circumstances, the right situation, whether it's to, um, well, everything is here to help us. So I'll just leave it at that. Like whether we think this is the opportunity that's going to have money flooding into my bank account or whether it's the opportunity that's going to push us to our growth edge to get us to our next level. We are coded for those specific people, for those specific experiences. So if we can look at everything from that perspective, we also know there's only, not only there's no comparison, but there's also like no wrongness. You're not doing anything wrong. You're not missing anything. No, it's it's so true, and it's, I use this analogy. I just used it in a recent abundance um, mini class I did in Soul Camp, my recent Soul Camp, and I said, we're like a radio station. Like in the old days before digital radios in our cars, we had a dial, and you'd drive through a certain town, and it would kind of get staticky, and you'd be like, hey, that's my favorite song, and you're trying to adjust it. And the, so the analogy I use is we are energy, we are frequency. And sometimes our frequency, we'll talk about abundance because that's what we're talking about, you know, about money. Our frequency gets staticky or unclear and all we have to do is tune back in, which is to our truth, and we, we come back into alignment. Is that um, what you found in your work with clients too? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's what I've found my personal journey and that's what I found with clients and I find that's what the biggest block is that we you know <clears throat> outsource our power we think someone else has it so my work with my clients is always to guide them back to steer them back like it's you <laughs> it's you that you 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 literally are track. You become, once you are more in your frequency, your unique frequency, you become more magnetic. You become more magnetic. And you're not even paying attention to what's missing, what's not missing, because you're just attracting everything to you. Uh, it's so beautiful and it's so funny because well, our family went through something. We had my honey got a double diagnosis um, last year and we just had a second surgery two, two and a half weeks ago. And one of the mindset strategies that I've used for decades but r- really a lot recently is look at the blessings, not the bullshit, right? So basically it's the same thing here. If you look at lack and, and judge yourself of, well, I'm doing things wrong, et cetera, you're going to get more of that. Change your frequency over to blessings, gratitude. Um, and I mean really feel gratitude, not just say gratitude. Um, and, and you come back into alignment. And we're going to talk about this more in a moment. We're going to take our first break. I am with money coach Gerda Victor. I invite you to learn more at GerdaVictor.com. We'll be back in a moment. A conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Inspiration for a woman's soul. Aspire Magazine. Inspiring and supporting women on the path of self-discovery. Claim your free digital subscription today, which includes access to thousands of dollars of personal development bonus gifts from Team Inspiration Partners. Claim your Aspire Magazine subscription today at subscribe to aspire.com. Hey, America, we need to have a little talk. We've got more food than we know what to do with in this country, yet 17 million kids in America are struggling with hunger. Makes no sense. Luckily, the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks has volunteers gathering excess food and getting it to hungry kids. They're kind of like food angels. Hey, become a food angel yourself by supporting Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. We can't do it without your help. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors, connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Hi everyone, this is Shay Parker, the host of Best of the Best, which airs live right here on IOM Radio every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and 5 p.m. Pacific. 
I'm super excited to bring you expert guest hosts, spiritual discussions, free psychic readings, and so much more. I can promise that you will not want to miss this one-of-a-kind, fun, yet touching, down-to-earth show. Join us every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific on OTRFM. This is Shay Parker, and I can't wait to see you there. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back, my friends. You're listening to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Linda Joy, and with me today is money coach Gerda Victor. We are here talking about unique cash frequency, alignment, energy, and all the juicy stuff that comes with that. So, Gerda, right before we were talking about alignment and, you know, really um, coming to understand that what we desire, what we want is not outside of ourselves. It starts within us. Is that what you found too? Yes. Absolutely, Linda. Um, <clears throat> there's nothing missing. This is the thing that I, I literally have this written um, on my wall. There's nothing missing. There's nothing to get. There's nothing wrong. <laughs> That is so beautiful. I mean, you know what? Just because I know we might have some tech issues, um, I'm going to have you just speak a little louder so I can or closer to the um, phone. Sometimes that happens when we're on landline, so I just wanted to make sure I caught that. So can you repeat that a little louder for me? Yes. There's nothing missing. There's nothing to get. And there's nothing wrong. There's nowhere to get to. This is mm, what I Isn't that? Beautiful. myself of all the time. <laughs> yeah, what a great sacred reminder to keep in your energy field because, you know, the world has us believe the exact opposite, doesn't it? It programs us to consistently and constantly be searching outside of ourselves for everything, health, happiness, abundance, etc. And like you, I mean, I've been on this journey now 30 years, all that time I spent chasing shit outside myself. It wasn't until I turned inward, I got exhausted and wiped out from doing it that way. I, and I turned inward and life changed. My businesses grew astronomically. I never have never been happier, more content with inner peace. It doesn't mean life is, is perfect. It means that I know that it's I, my energy is what brings everything to me. Yeah. And and that's such an empowering place to be. Like that quote said, it it isn't out there. No. So when, out what are some of the real blocks that you've discovered in your work with clients to creating the income or abundance that, you know, people desire? Have you noticed some real blocks in your work? Yes. Um, so the big block is... Um, that you can't, you know, money is bad. I mean, I'm like, I can't believe how long this has been going around, right? Money is evil. Um, rich people get richer. Poor people get poorer. You know, all these, this is what I call, like, these their lies, they go unquestioned for centuries, and it just gets passed down. No matter how much we read about abundance, I, it still surprises me <laughs> that so many people still carry this belief. Even I find, you know, even who's, people who are, like, studying law of attraction and mindset work, they still carry those beliefs. And they don't even realize that they carry it. That's what I find is like one of the biggest blocks. We're carrying beliefs underneath the hood. It's like when I work with clients, I really lift and see what's underneath the hood. Um, so it's usually there's some belief around it's not safe to have money. If I have it, um, people are going to want it. People are going to judge me. So this is where, again... A lot of external focus affects people's ability to create abundance in their lives. Not only there's the seeking outside for fulfillment, but there's also I won't allow myself to have it because of the fear of being judged, of being criticized, or 
of being unrelatable. Like, God forbid I create success for my life. And, you know, my friends or the world, this poverty in the world. <laughs> yeah, I hear this all the time. And you know who I really see it with? The work that I used to do. I see it a lot with healers. Um, I was a massage therapist, to oh God, 24 years ago. So I remember going, and, and I did some spiritual work back then, too, with clients. And I remember having that thought gather of, oh, my God. Who am I to be spiritual and make money? And even though I had a successful retail business for 11 years before that, when I went into this, you know, personal and spiritual development, that was a big one. And so then I noticed it in a lot of people and client, you know, friends and peers in that industry. And you work a lot with women in that industry, personal and spiritual development, correct? Yes, I do. And I'm actually uh, was a massage therapist for 20 years. I mean, I've been a massage therapist for 20 years. And this is why I transition to working with people, spiritual entrepreneurs, healers around this particular issue because I went through it too. <laughs> yeah, it, it was the, one of the greatest healings I went through um, to realize, to heal that wound, which I think was ancestral and generational. And then... Um, if I'm correct, you're in Massachusetts too, aren't you? I am. Yeah, yeah, so me too. And, you know, I still see it. I don't see it as much. I can't say that because, you know, I'm more virtual now than, than hands-on in person. I'm not a massage therapist anymore. But I notice it in conversations with clients because all my private clients are, you know, um, psychologists, therapists, coaches, healers, and uh, I work with them around visibility and give them a media platform. And we all, part of my work with them is working on mindset and beliefs that keep them playing small and not be visible, which is really wounds, right? Wounds of who am I to serve? Who am I to be seen? So I'm sure you run into the same thing because it's all the same frequency blocks. Yes, yeah, it absolutely is. And you know... It just shows up differently, where, depending on where people are in their lives or what work they're doing. It, you're absolutely right. It's an energy. Like, no matter what the person actually say, but, like, it's really an energy that, they, that they're carrying. It just shows up differently. I have worked with clients, even men who are, like, CEO, you know, of big companies who want to step out and do their own thing. They face that, too. I think, you know, there's this um, idea that men don't have this issue. Men have it, too. It just shows up differently. And, you know, people who've been in careers where, where they've been abundant, they've had money, you know, but they had the backing of their, their company or whatever the product is that they were selling. Now, when they have to step into, like, what's calling within to say, this is who I am, world, this is what I'm doing, and I want you to pay me for it. <laughs> yeah, then they struggle, right? Because yeah. because they, when you leave the safety net, and um, I left the safety net, I've been an entrepreneur since 92, um, when you leave the safety net of whether a corporate job or some kind of structured job, to be an entrepreneur, every wound and trigger will be revealed. Right, so the, how long it lasts depends on how willing you are to look at the wounds and triggers, and that's the stuff I love working on with my clients. And like you, I had to learn all those things and go through them myself. Mm-hmm. Right, here I am, I, I teach sacred visibility, right, which is one of my trademark brands, and, and I had to go through my own healing of sacred visibility wounds myself and that's why I'm teaching it because I could see that block coming up for so many gifted um, transformational leaders, coaches, etc. And it broke my heart and I finally said, okay, I see why I got this life lesson so I could teach it. And so before we go to the next break, one of the other things I wanted to ask is, so we you, you found the block Number one, which is like that belief that money's bad, evil, etc., which is a big one. Is there another block that you found pretty common? The other block is around 
value, like self-value, right? So we can work through money is bad, money you know, money is evil. We can say, okay, that's an illusion, that's a lie. <clears throat> but then there's still something around wanting to be value, looking for value externally. Um, the fear of being not accepted. Like I see that a lot. And the other thing that I'll say with money, one of the things that I say all the time is that money touches everything. So what I have found is sometimes the block is not actually in money. It's somewhere else in the person's lives, how they're relating with other aspects of their lives is actually what's creating the block. And it's showing up in their finances so we can... So when I work with people, other things come up, like in their personal relationship, because there's something around value, valuing themselves, because money is about value, right? So if you're not valuing yourself in your relationship, you're not setting the appropriate boundaries in other relationships in your life, it's going to show up there, because... That's also about relationship. <laughs> and so true. It is all connected because, you know, I look back to my younger years and didn't choose wisely in my relationships. And if I look at that period of time and where I was financially, it's definitely a connection. Absolutely. Right. And it also comes, it also, um, women that have, because I deal with a lot of women, so I usually use that, um, that phrase, a lot of women, especially entrepreneurs, when it comes, they might on the outside look like they have it all together. Then I see their pricing. I'm like, what are you doing? I can see when they undervalue themselves and they don't even know the wound is there. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, it's something that is so common and the fear of like being fully, fully in their power, Right. Because there's this belief, like, you can't be in your power and be um, heart-centered. Um, you know, you have to, you're a bitch if you step in. There's this story around if I'm in my power, I'm going to hurt other people. And people often equate money to power. So they reject power and they reject money because of that. Yeah, that was, I got to say, uh, 30 years ago, that I think that was one for me when I was in my other business. I struggled with that one. So that's, that's thank you for sharing that awareness. And we're going to take a, another break, and I will be back in a moment with GerdaVictor.com, and I invite you to visit her website at Gerda, which is G-U-E-R-D-A, Victor.com. We'll be back in a moment, my friends. This is OTRFM part of the IOM Radio Network. Does the energy in your life or home feel stuck or stagnant? Your home surroundings may be impacting your mood, energy level, and even how much money you attract. It's time to clear the energy blocks in your immediate surroundings so you can attract enhanced health, happiness, and abundance. Carrie Miller, feng shui expert, speaker, and coach, and the author of Feels Better, Flows Better, Feng Shui for Inspired Living, merges her sacred skills in feng shui, space clearing, aromatherapy, and coaching to support her clients in making subtle changes to their home that allow energy to flow and create spaces that are comfortable, functional, supportive, and inspiring. Whether you're called to clear one room or your full home, Carrie offers feng shui and energy clearing services on-site or virtually to meet your needs. Learn more at CarrieMillerConsulting.com. Ohm Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Ohm Times. Co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Do you have time to read that inspiring book or that blog post you've been meaning to get to? In your busy world, how do you improve yourself and keep your life going? I'm Lisa Kay, and my Between Heaven and Earth radio show can transform your life just by listening. 
be uplifted with inspiring topics, positive stories, and ideas that really work. Between Heaven and Earth Radio is conscious living for your soul every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Me, a cat, moving in with a new human. It took a little getting used to. She has these weird games she likes to play, like this giant feather. She sticks it in my face. I swat it away. She sticks it in my face. I swat it away. It's almost like she thinks I enjoy it. But seeing how much fun she gets out of it, well, I guess it makes it all worth it. Humans. A person is the best thing to happen to a shelter pet. Be that person. Adopt. Brought to you by the Ad Council and the ShelterPetProject.org. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. You're listening to Inspired Conversations. I'm your host, Linda Joy. I am so grateful that you're circling up with me today and my special guest, Gerda Victor, for this um, empowering call about, you know, our unique cash frequency. So, Gerda, how can our listeners start to activate their unique cash frequency and, and begin to, you know, tap in? So the first thing I will say is to look at this as a journey and that you're going to continue. It's an evolution. That's one. So it's not like, oh, I activated, I got it, and I'm done. (laughs) It is a journey. So to look at it from that perspective, I think it takes sort of like the weight, the heaviness of like, okay, I got to go do this thing. And there's something that you said um, earlier that I want to get, that I want to link into this, is the willingness. The willingness to say that I'm doing this no matter what. I, I noticed with myself and with clients, it's like, I'm ready, I'm ready. But there was, that words that I was saying, the full commitment was not there. So... I would recommend look at look at what it is that you really want to create in your life in your business and commit fully commit to it say I am having this and I don't care what is required like one of the things that I invite people to get comfortable with is be willing to do whatever it takes I remember when I heard that my stomach went into knots because I had, I was actually speaking, you know, in a course where it wasn't particularly around money, but of course money came up because money touches everything. <laughs> and the woman, the facilitator said to me, are you willing to do whatever it takes? My stomach went into knots because my mind went to like, I'm not going to do whatever. It, like it was, I couldn't get what she was saying I thought she meant like go do anything for money and I started going to all kinds of crazy place prostitution and you know I'm not going to do that and it wasn't until like years later I started to unravel it's not about doing anything for money there's a clear distinction between doing anything for money and doing whatever it takes to create the abundance that you want so notice The energy behind every choice. Oh, I love that. Can be done. So this is where I say I invite people to go to the the neutral point. There's nothing that's really right. There's nothing that's really wrong. But it's the energy with which we do what we do, the judgment that we place on it that makes something right, that makes something wrong. So start noticing the energy behind the choices that you're making and ask, is this aligned with my highest value, meaning my highest value of myself? You mentioned earlier, Linda, noticing your your clients who are well-established, you know, doctors or whatever, and then you look at the price (laughs) for their services. (laughs) Yes. And it's like, okay, is this price? It's not about, oh, I'm trying to get to these numbers and I'm, you know, I want to make it big. It's like, if I really sat down, sat into truth, what is my highest value of myself, of my work, 
in the world? And does this price tag really align? Is it really aligned with my highest value, what I'm really here to express, this sacred gift, this sacred medicine that I hold at the highest value, does this price really align with it? And this is where you get quiet. You shut out the noise where you're looking at, well, this person has a Ph.D. too, and they're charging that. And that person, no. They are on their journey. They are doing their thing. (laughs) Stay on your side of the street. Clean up your side of the street because you don't know where that person is being led. You don't know what they have going on in their life that's causing them, you know, to make the choices that they're making. Maybe some that person charging, you know, 50 bucks is aligned with their highest value. Maybe that's where they are on their journey, right? Maybe that person charging, you know, 100000 an hour for the same thing is in their highest value. So I, this is about I say, like, stay in your lane. <laughs> and it's so true because in like conversations with clients, you know, like some some coaches out there will go, "You're going to double your prices." Well, you can't just throw a strategy out like that because I know and you know that if the client, if the person, if the the coach will say, does not energetically in line with that amount and can't own her value at that amount, she will not attract clients because it's not in energetic alignment. So I always say step up and stretch yourself. Like you have to keep stretching your abundance zone so that, as you said, they can become in their own unique cash frequency. It doesn't matter what Mary or Ralph are doing. So it's almost like stretching your abundant zone, growing into it, owning that value, and that's our own personal journey. We can't compare our journey to someone else's when it comes to to valuing our own work. Have you noticed that too? It's like if you can't own the value of that frequency of the number you set, you won't attract clients because they're going to feel the disconnect. Yes, yes. Yeah, this is where I say you got to back you 100%. Yes. No matter what. Okay. You know, and and I connect that with, like, what's the life you want to live? What is the life you want to create? Because your price, the income you're generating, if you're not working a job, you're saying, I am an entrepreneur. This is what I want to do. So that has to support the lifestyle that you want to live. And this is where, again, you give yourself permission to create and to have the life that you want. If, if it is of value to you to eat 100% clean no matter what, your income has to be able to support that. If it is of value to get a massage every other week, your income has to support that, right? So this is all about valuing yourself and saying, I am going to be bold enough. Step into this life that I want to create for myself, and I'm going to create the resources to make that happen. And if you're in the business, if you're a business owner, an entrepreneur, nobody's handing you a check. <laughs> you're creating it, right? Exactly. You have to reflect that. Now, those are such beautiful insights. And we're going to take our final break. And when we come back, let's talk about you know, our desire to serve versus our desire to make money um, because I think that's a really important distinction. It's one of my five feminine success principles, so I can't wait to hear your thoughts on it. So we'll be back in a moment. I'm with money coach Gerda Victor. Learn more at GerdaVictor.com. We'll be back in a moment. A conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Are you being called to step into your truth and embrace your divinity? Are you ready to align your heart and soul, live an authentic life, and become a divine magnet for love and abundance? It's time to listen to your inner wisdom and clear the blocks holding you back from your best life. 
leading intuitive prosperity coach, Akashic Records practitioner, and evidential medium, Jamie Hearn of LiveYourDivinity.com, empowers and supports spiritual women like you to align your inner and outer worlds, embrace your soul's truth, and live your divinity. Through her intuitive gifts, grounded wisdom, and empowered coaching, Jamie guides women back into sacred alignment with their truth. Visit LiveYourDivinity.com to learn more about Jamie's empowering programs and to schedule an Akashic Record reading. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Om Times, co-creating a more conscious lifestyle. Circle of Hearts Radio is a sanctuary on the airwaves. Join me, Grandmother Aliyah, in the circle on Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern, as I share information to both enlighten and nourish your soul. The number one reason girls drop out of school in sub-Saharan Africa is lack of access to feminine hygiene products. The Pads for School Girls Project, an outreach of Humanity Healing International, is changing this paradigm by setting up sewing programs at schools, teaching girls a vocational skill, while producing the reusable pads that help keep them attending classes. The girls pay it forward by making and giving pad kits to other girls in need. To learn more, visit HumanityHealing.org. Humanity Healing is where your heart is. This is OTRFM, part of the IOM Radio Network. Welcome back for the last segment of today's show. This is Linda Joy, your host, and with me today we're talking, I'm talking with Gerda Victor. She's a money coach with over 20 years of experience in mind, body, and energy therapy. She has a master's in mental health and counseling, and, you know, she is passionate about helping women connect with and clear and keep clear the unique cash frequency. So one of the things you talk about, Gerda, is the desire to serve versus the desire to make money. So tell me what you mean by that. Well, I used to look at it in that pit in one against the other, right? Oh, I want to serve people. So that means I have to keep my prices really low so I can serve. So people can afford me, right? And I had to look at, as we talk about in the previous segment, well, what's the life that I want to live? How is serving other people? Who's serving me, right? It was looking at how much, again, I was pushing energy out, but feeling like I was waiting for someone to come save me. While I'm out here saving the people, I'm looking for a savior. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. It's like, wait a minute, something is off here. Because when we're not aligned with the knowing that, yes, I am here um, to serve, but I also get to be served, and I get to be served by my highest self, my highest good. And when I am serving from my place of martyrdom and depletion, no one benefits. No one benefits because... I am not showing up in the highest frequency, in the highest place that I can really serve people because I'm hurting, I'm frustrated, I am resentful. Well, am I really serving when I'm doing this? No. <laughs> no. And, and you can't serve from an empty cup. Right, No matter what we do, whether you're a homemaker, a mom, a nurse, an entrepreneur, you have to honor yourself and serve yourself for it to translate into energy out to the world. Exactly. Exactly. And, yeah, and I tell my, my clients that I believe, especially as spiritual entrepreneurs, our business is an energy, has its own energy, but it's also um, imbued with our energy. So if we are always tired, run down, resentful, guess what energy goes into our business? And that's what people feel. 
you could put on the pretty picture and the pretty Instagram posts, but if the energy within your business is based on on lack of self care and and you know everything we were just discussing, that's the energy imprint people feel when they visit your site, right? You can't hide energy. No. <laughs> You can't. I mean, believe me, I, I, I don't know about you, Gerda, but on my journey, it's like, oh, you know, 20 years ago, I put on the mask so I could just try to move through life. And then when I understood energy, it's like, you're not fooling anyone. You can throw every mask up, every, you know, pretty um, Facebook post, but energy is energy. So I spent the last 25 years working on my energy. And guess what? It's everything you're talking about. When we do that, when we commit, as you so beautifully said, to doing the work and, and working on our energy and all of that, that's when life transforms. It's not the opposite. It isn't chasing what's outside, thinking our life's going to change. It's starting inside and watching our life unfold. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes to everything you just said. <laughs> well, that's why we're attracted to each other's work, my friend. I'm so glad that you could join me today because this is such a powerful topic because, and it's one I've been having a lot in the, as you know, the Inspired Living University, the student portal. Every month we do a theme. So for God, for the last three months, we've been talking about maintaining your spiritual and emotional energy, you know, keeping clear. Last month was about abundance. Today's is about, I think, spiritual and and self-care strategies. But really, what is it, the core message? We need to maintain our energy. We need to have emotional and spiritual energetic boundaries in order to to live at our fullest potential and not be like a weeping willow in the wind when life is hitting us like it is right now for everyone. You know, one thing I, I, you know, that's that's coming up as you're speaking where I notice... um, the martyrdom comes in where we want to rescue everyone that I had to actually shift is that no one needs my rescuing. Everyone is sovereign. Everyone is their own rescuer. Once I started to flip that, that was something that was also, um, I would say, maybe game changer for me. Because then it took off the pressure from feeling like, of course, the pressure that I was putting on myself, (laughs) that I had to go rescue everyone. They needed me, right? Where I was making myself so important that they needed me. So I had to go, you know, rescue them and give to the detriment of me. And realizing, actually, no, that is not what is required here. I'm just a God. I'm just someone who's walking with you along the path. Like, you still have to do the work. Like, I have to do my work. (laughs) Yes. And I think, too, is those in this field, especially you have the counseling background, you're a spiritual leader, we have that innate wiring to be of service, but I love what you said. If we see people as broken, et cetera, then we're not doing them a service. I I am, you know, my brand is all about love, inspiration, self-empowerment, feminine wisdom, and it's a place come to us for light and love because we've got enough of the other bullshit out there. It's a safe place to come and be reminded of your truth. Right? That's the simplest way I can put what my brands do, right? But for a long time, I think with the massage background, especially, I got into the healing mode, like you said. It's like, oh my God, I got to give up three massages a week because I was trying to help, you know, a situation. And then I'm like, what am I doing? It, if they weren't willing to do the changes like exercise or stretching, what am I doing? All I'm doing is instigating their belief that something's wrong. Right? Instead of saying, listen, here's ways you can empower yourself. These are the steps. If you choose not to do them, the choice is yours. But it's, I, I don't take it on as a responsibility. Same with, you know, life and business coaching. We can guide. We can't hold their hand if they're not willing to take personal responsibility. Exactly. Exactly. 
and I think that is the highest gift you can give to someone. Yeah, because I say, it, I, I say I believe in the truth of who you are, not in the illusion of what you're holding on to. Yes, yes, the mm-hmm. illusion that you're broken or that you are a victim that serves no one. And I cannot serve you if that's how I see you. Yeah, it's like I want to hold the higher vision for you. I will listen. You know, and this is what I do with friends, family, as well as clients. I listen so you have a place to be heard. I help you, I support you in clearing the false belief, but I will not hold that energy with you. I will not give you, I will not bring my energy down or my wisdom down to meet you at that level. I'll invite you to come up. Because that's honestly being, as you said, that's being of true service. And it took me years. I mean, I'm, I'm 58 as of Tuesday, <laughs> the other day. Oh, I keep the, Well, thank you. Thank you, darling. Um, and, you know, I look back on my life and go, you know, if, if the divine came down right now and said, hey, Linda, you can pick any age um, that you've already gone through and you'll, you can stay that age for the rest of your life, I would choose right now. Mm-hmm. Because the sense of self I have, my my faith in the divine, my connection to source, my in- intuition, I, I wouldn't change anything. You know, so I, I look forward to my 60s. So we have a few minutes left, Gerda. What message, on top of the wisdom you've already shared so beautifully, do you have, would like to leave our listeners with? Anything that comes up, or a tip, or a strategy, whatever you're led. So what comes up is that you are on this journey to experience all of life, all of its beauty, and all of its not-so-beautiful things. (laughs) If we can choose to look at everything through the lens of this is just an experience that I am having, it is not finite. It does not define me, then I think we can navigate through life a little bit smoother. And you get to install in, install the belief that abundance gets to be a part of that journey. It just does. But you have to choose it. You have to choose it. No one can hand it to you. It is a choice that you make. I have a thing on my website that says you can be spiritual AF and rich AF. (laughs) (laughs) I like that, baby. I like your sass. (laughs) At least we didn't get beeped, right? Like the radio station go beep. It's so beautiful, but it's so true, right? We're energy. Everything is energy. When we can look at abundance and money that way, um, it is spiritual to be abundant. If we look at it from that, it's source energy. Then it shifts everything. It has for me, you know. Um, So I am so grateful that you are here. Is there anything? I'm going to show you URL one more time, Gerda. Victor.com. Is there anywhere on your site you would want to tell them about a certain program or event that you have coming up? We have another um, minute. Okay. So I have a um, challenge that I'm doing um, right now is Dare to Create It Challenge. Um, it is really about helping people to bust through some of those glitches in their energy and their understanding of energy and what it takes to create uh, what they want. And um, from that, I have a 30-day show-me-the-money breakthrough <laughs> that I offer, um, particularly to, you know, healers, coaches, to really see where the glitches are in their cash flow and how to activate, to bring full on their unique cash frequency so that they can value the service in the way that they want to create and generate the cash flow that they want in their business. Well, this sounds amazing, and I'm going to invite everyone to go to GerdaVictor.com, and if you miss her current challenge, 
Um, don't worry. I'm sure she'll be doing it again. Make sure you follow her on Facebook. And I invite you to stay connected with Gerda. Clear up anything holding you back from claiming your unique cash frequency. Gerda, thank you so much for joining me, my friend. Thank you so much for having me, Minette. This was fun. Well, thank you, my friend. Until next time, everyone, choose love, choose joy, choose happiness. Blessings. Thanks for listening to Inspired Conversations with publisher Linda Joy. Join our sacred space every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Eastern and meet leading female visionaries, empowering authors, heart-centered female entrepreneurs, coaches, and healers. Inspired Conversations with Linda Joy is a soulful venue where guests share the obstacles they've overcome, along with wisdom and lessons learned on their personal journey that led them to the transformational work they do in the world. Inspired Conversations to empower you on your path to authentic and soulful living.